What's going on, guys? Welcome to part two of this Terror March deck submitted to us by Swanstorm. Really do appreciate the submission. Unfortunately, if you did not check out video one, uh, we didn't get a win. Uh, but that's okay. We're not here necessarily to get a win. We're here to get one win. And it has to be Terror of the Peaks with Mirror March out. That's what we're trying to do. Uh, so if we can make that happen, we are happy. So we will see if we can make it happen uh, in this video. I'm really excited about this deck. I really do think that... Um, Despite a very unexciting uh, first video, my hope is that we can really get there with this one. Um, but we'll see, of course, as we go along. So let's go ahead and drop this out and let's get our stomping ground uh, down. Um, this is a very helpful card in this situation because, again, this is probably the 1-1 one -one focused uh, aggro deck, which just means we've got a blocker. Um, granted, they can make it unblockable, but if that's all they're doing per their turn that's fine uh and one mana in this deck is equating to another creature and if they're not playing another creature that's fine by me uh so let's see what we can do here uh on turn four we can get a terror down thanks to iron crag uh feet which is going to be really really crucial um so i am hoping at least that we can get something uh something going here um i think this deck just needs more of an engine uh, to be to be very realistic about it. Uh, it needs a little bit more early game and or a bit more of an engine that can really take it over the top. I just don't think it has that yet. Uh, again, not to say it's a bad deck. I think it just doesn't quite have that. Um, I am going to block here. I know that they can shock and that's fine. Um, but I'd rather them spend their shock obviously on this than anything else. So uh, We could also just get this Brash Taunter down, which might actually be a better play at the moment. Um, yeah, let's do that. It's an indestructible threat that allows me to fight stuff. So I'm going to try that. Um, we'll see. Maybe that's not ideal. But next turn we do have a follow-up. You know, we can obviously just play the Terror of the Peaks if we'd like. So I think this is actually okay. Um, but we'll see. Huh. Fiery Emancipation, huh? Oh, the thought processes. So we can do this into Fiery Emancipation. Uh, that's kind of not bad. Uh, and then next turn I have Terror of the Peaks, and we're still at 17 life. I'm going to try this. Uh, we also won't have to shock ourselves, which is pretty crucial. Uh, let's get that out. Uh, I've never... I'm going to say no. We'll see what we want to do here. I'm not 100% sure if this is the right play, but we're we're in this to, to try stuff out and have a little fun. So I hope that this works. Um, we do get to start fighting off some things, which is pretty good. Uh, and then Terror of the Peaks obviously going to do a good job about um, dealing with a lot of their threats. So we'll see. We will see. Have to assume here at some point, though, that they will have um, something pretty strong going on. I'm obviously going to block. Um, get some damage in. That's kind of nice. And then this guy obviously sticks around. Uh, wow. Okay, well, land. Um, so, do we just fight this off? Um, I'm going to play Terror. And I'm not going to attack. Uh, I want to kind of commit a little bit more, I think, at this point. Um, we can always just block this. I mean, we're going to take two to do that, uh, but we can. And then, obviously, if they want to shock this or do anything there, they, they obviously are going to have to take some damage. So we'll, we'll see. Um, but this also does a good job of dealing with the Chandra Spitfire if that comes down. So I think that's okay. Really? Okay. They're being very, very cautious. Uh, which is smart. That's not very helpful. Um, okay, so... I think we just pass. Um, we really need another creature that we can drop with Terror of the Peaks out. Uh, that way we can start burning out some of these things. Unfortunately, we're just not getting there quite yet. Um, Torbran. Hmm. Let's go ahead and fight. Uh, we'll resolve first. I think we have to. Um, 
All right, now though, what do we do? Because we're going to be taking a lot of damage. So I think we have to do this. Um, I think that's correct. I'll... Mm. I mean, we have to block here. But this just kills us, right? Yeah. Oh, goodness. I felt a little better about that one. But that's okay. That's okay. Hey. Like I said, we're in this to have fun, so let's see if we can get a win with this. Game two, hopefully we will have slightly better luck. Um, I don't know. Swanstorm, I really do appreciate your effort in uh, putting this together. I just don't think it's working quite as well as it, it and I will say it looked like it was going to work pretty great, so I'm a little surprised, but I just don't think that it's working quite as well. Uh, and I think this is a good example. We just get stuck with a lot of things in our hand sometimes or nothing in our hand. Um, we're going to keep this, but uh, we'll put that back. Um, Perforous enables a lot of other creatures, so I'd honestly rather have Perforous. Um, I mean, that's a good card for sure, but unfortunately we just don't have any lands in hand, so it's not really going to do too much. Now, in tandem with Rada, it's quite good, but... Uh, we unfortunately don't have that yet. So this is potentially going to be a bit of a slower deck. Um, so we may have a slight chance. Uh, sorry for the frame rates if they're dipping a little bit here, by the way, guys. Uh, we're going to stick it out. But I do certainly apologize. Hopefully it's not too unbearable. <laughs> uh, well, and there we got a Terror of the Peaks anyway. Let's go ahead and drop Azusa. Um... Chances are, in a green-black deck, they're going to have a way to kill this. Uh, but, you know, it's something that they do need to kill at some point. So, not necessarily need to, but we didn't play any lands. So, this is very telling that they now know we don't have lands in hand. Just so you know. Bit of a risk in playing Azusa there. Not a risk, necessarily. Just, you know. Uh, let's do this. Oh, we can't. Ah. Uh, Non-human. Non-human. That's important, as it turns out. Uh, didn't even think about that interaction, but yes, that is a problem with this. Uh, this has to, this can't be a human that we're mutating onto, uh, and unfortunately Azusa obviously is. So, uh, Just want to mention also Azusa is one of our proxies that we've previously made. If you're interested in picking one up, you certainly can still. There are ways to do that through our Patreon in particular. So... Uh, if you're interested, I certainly would appreciate you checking it out. The link is down below. Uh, what I will say, though, is we're doing an okay job of staving off any attacks here. Any major attacks, at least. They don't have a lot that they'd be attacking with, to be honest. But, you know, that's a good start. Something to do. I like it. Um, next turn, we will see what we want to do. Um, it's an interesting card. Not one that I expected. Uh, you know what? Let's just drop Mirror March. Let's just do it. We have the opportunity. We're going to try it. Next turn, we can uh, Terror the Peaks and see if we get a lot of copies or if we get no copies, which chances are we're going to get no copies, but uh, that's okay. We can also... One, two, three, four, five. Depending on if we draw a land. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, it doesn't quite work, does it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So... Uh, no, nope, doesn't quite work, but that's okay. Uh, we're not under a ton of pressure here, and I kind of want to be able to get multiple activations out, so we're going to do this. Um, Perforous allows us to do a little bit of kind of playing the system a bit, um, but chances are they've got Assassin's Trophy, so they can kill Mirror March, like, at any point, <laughs> which is going to be annoying, not going to lie. Um... Also, really do apologize for the frame rates. I'm, I'm looking at them. I know that they are bad, uh, but we're, we're going to do the best we can here. Um, hmm. I kind of want Terra to stick around, though. So we can do this for three, then do this for three. Nah, let's just play Terra. Let's just take the opportunity. Um, this does mean Perforos is actually going to be active, if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, yeah. All right, 
This is our shot. Oh, mean. That was so mean. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get a green here. This does actually allow us, though, to dip out another creature. Um, if we would like, which I think we will. Uh, it's going to be this, but that's fine. We'll just go ahead and get rid of this Fiend Hunter. Or Fiend Artisan. I said Fiend Hunter. This now does not. Okay. There we go. Alright, well, we get to attack with this. Uh, and then it's going to die. <laughs> That's okay. I assume that they were going to Assassin's Trophy. I mean... Why wouldn't they? So it makes sense, but definitely kind of sucks. Uh, next turn, we do have the Great Horn, so we can drop that down, hit them for three if we want, or, you know, depending on what they play, we may hit uh, a creature for three here, but we'll, we'll see. Land is not super helpful, uh, if I'm honest. Um, I'm going to play this separate. Um, I know that it would thin our deck and get something else out, but I kind of just want to be able to... Uh, spread out some threats here chances are in a deck like this we're dealing with uh and assassin's trophy being one of them uh chances are we're going to be dealing with more uh um uh single point removal uh as we're seeing with assassin's trophy and stuff uh here we go again um and so I'd prefer to spread out the threats. And you can see there, for instance, if I had uh, if I had mutated onto Terror of the Peaks, we would have lost both. Uh, so I'm actually really, really happy we did what we did. Um, still not getting there, unfortunately. I mean, we're we're not losing the game by any means, but we're also not really, you know, going crazy here. So we'll see what we can do. But Death Touch and Life Link, sure. And why do we keep drawing lands? We have so many. Uh, I'm actually going to attack in. If they want to block this, that's fine. Uh, they mitigate the damage. I get that. But we got to keep the damage going as well. So, um, yep. This is a really, like, interesting deck. I don't know how much I actually like it. Uh, it just seems like Golgari value. Oh my goodness, how in the world? Uh, pass. We have 12 lands. We have half of our lands. <laughs> That's so bad. Um, unfortunately, uh, Swanstorm, I think part of this is not necessarily your fault. Not that any of this is really your fault. You just build a cool deck. But I think the problem is we're just drawing bad. <laughs> like, we're just not getting very good things. Um, yeah. Yeah. And this is the moment where they kind of start to take over. Um, I mean, we're missing so many things to be able to make this actually good. Um, in terms of what we need to draw, we would need to get like a Mirror March plus something good. And yeah, that's not going to do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and concede. Gosh, get, dang, man. I thought we were so close on that one, but that's okay. Let's jump into our very last game. Um, and again, Swanstorm, I, I really do appreciate... Oops, did not mean to hit that. I really do appreciate the submission here. Um, it's it's great to see that you are uh, submitting some decks. I know you've been in our Discord for a while, so it's great to hear from you. Um, it's, uh, it's fun to be able to hang out with people in our Discord. We've got a really great group of people there. Um, I know I brag about them quite often, uh, but it's it's for good reason. They've they've been all stars uh, for sure. So really do appreciate that. Um, we got a mulligan. Like we can't. <sighs> Hold on. And now, oh my gosh. Sure, <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, we'll do that. This is really terrible. Uh, our frame rates are terrible too. I'm gonna take this as an excuse. This is 100% an excuse, uh, but we're dipping out. Our frame rates are bad anyway, but I'm dipping out. <laughs> that was a terrible hand. All three of those were very bad. Um, all right, let's jump in. Oh, hopefully we can get there on this one. This is our last chance. This is our last chance to get this. 
Um, let's see if we can do it. Uh, hopefully, uh, we can get a Terror March deck going at some point, but unfortunately, uh, not to preemptively sum up our thoughts, but preemptively a little bit, uh, I just don't think this is the one. Oh my gosh, look at this. We might just be getting unlucky a little bit here. Um, I got a mulligan. I can't keep that. Oh, this is terrible. Shouldn't keep this either, I know. Um, this is like the... <laughs> this is so bad. Uh, we need more dual lands for sure. Um, we need a lot of stuff, I think. Um, and we're against an aggro deck. <laughs> oh, guys. We tried. We tried hard. Yep. We need, like, a sweeper, too. Like, Storm's Wrath would be great, especially with Brass Taunter in, in play. Brash, not Brass. Um, like, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We're just getting raked through the coals, my friends. But that's okay. It's Monday. Mondays are always terrible, right? Oh, my gosh. Look, see, like... We can't, we can't be doing this. <laughs> I think this deck is trying to attack on a couple of different axes that don't necessarily work super well together. It's not to say they're bad. That's to say they could be slightly better. Let's just throw this out there. Um, the reason I'm throwing this out, by the way, is because we have a second one, and I'd much rather like be able to double up on these and start hitting some of their creatures for damage really quickly, because that'd be great. Um, get rid of some of these death touchers, things like that. So there's a vague hope, but you know, chances are <laughs> we're in pretty bad shape here. Uh, they can attack with this and that's about it. Um, and I'm not blocking that for obvious reasons. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, play land. Terror of the Peaks coming out. We're hitting that. Get that out of there. Um, no attacks. All right, now we've got two Terrors out. Um, so we're going to start hitting some stuff for some major damage if we can get more. Like, just get more creatures out and they can't deal with the Terrors, then we're in good shape. But they do have to hit both of them, which is pretty important. That's fine. It's not good, but that's fine. Um... I'm going to say no blocks. Yep. Hmm. Let's do this. Let's hit this. And let's hit this. Alright, we're kind of just getting there because we have good stuff. Which I'm fine with. Don't get me wrong. Um... I'm going to say no attacks, only because if they uh, manage to kill kind of either one of these, they also inherently get rid of Perforos, which is a slight problem. Um, next turn, we can get Brash Taunter down. We're just, I mean, we can actually get the fire eman Fiery Emancipation down. Uh, no, we can't even. We can't. We're missing three red. That continues to be an issue, uh, which I think shows a lot. Uh, Brash Taunter can actually take both of these out, though, unless they put a counter on stuff, but we have an indestructible threat now, so I kind of don't, I don't hesitate to block this, so I kind of hope that they do attack it. <laughs> um, and we're clogging up the air with the terrors here, so like, oh, okay, what are you getting rid of is the question. Perforous, that's fine. I mean, it's not great, but that's fine. We do need to start taking out some of these creatures at some point here. That's definitely something to say. Um, let's throw this down. I'm going to go ahead and get this off the field here. And again, we've got another indestructible threat. I'm going to attack with one of these. We do have to start dealing some damage, so worth noting. Uh, we could have played the Fiery Emancipation this turn and really started dealing some damage this coming turn, but um, we kind of have to... I mean, we're at 10 life. We have to threat assess a little bit here um, and hopefully stay on top of things. We'll see. We will see. This is by far the best chance we have had. <laughs> I will say that. 
Um, but this is definitely a an interesting one. If we can get just a decent creature, we can kind of get rid of some threats here. Doubling up on the terrors is quite nice. Not 100% sure why they're doing this. Just to gain some life, I take it. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, well, let's kill it. <laughs> Nice. Uh, we're gonna get rid of this. And I'm actually going to attack him. I know it's a bit risky, um, but considering we've got another Terror up and a Brash Taunter, <laughs> um, feel okay about doing that. Uh, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, okay. Sure. So they will get to, to draw the card here if they ta attack in, but we... We honestly might just kill this. I don't love doing this. Actually, no, we don't need to. We just do this and we win next turn. Well, I lied. We won't win next turn, I should say. But we do get to... Uh... Oh, no, we do. I'm not mathing very well at the moment. I'm a little like fr I'm a little unhappy that the deck didn't work the way I thought it would. Uh, I really did think that this was an interesting looking deck at the very least. Um, all right, well let's just attack with everything. Yeah. All right, we got to win. Woo. Okay. Uh, we never got to play Mirror March and it actually do anything. Um, we did not get to see Terra the Peaks in tandem with Mirror March, which was really the goal, but. All that to say, um, oh, hey, let's open a pack really quick. All that to say, um, I think that shows how difficult this deck may be to, to really get together. And that's okay. Um, I think part of the fun is having a bit of a challenge and seeing if you can make something happen. So, uh, again, I really do want to thank Swanstorm for putting a deck together. You risked it. It's fine. Uh, it was a fun deck. I really do appreciate the submission. Feel free to take another stab at it. I think um, some more early game and some board clearing would be helpful. <laughs> um, but I understand that there's a bit of a uh, a bit of a difficult thing that you have to manage, which is the creature base versus everything else. Because again, this is a mirror march deck, so you do have to have some things that are you know going to deal with stuff. But it's a little bit challenging. I get it. Uh, this. Unfortunately, I don't think is the, the the last word in Mirror March with Terror of the Peaks together, but uh, I do think that this is a fun starting point uh, for anybody else to take the reins, try and get this one together. Swan Storm, you are more than welcome to take another stab as well, so don't feel bad about that. But I really do appreciate the, the uh, submission and everybody else submitting decks right now. Fantastic. Really do appreciate it. We've got a lot coming down the pipeline. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you really did enjoy this video uh, and this deck. And hopefully this spurred your creativity uh, to hopefully put something new together. But really do appreciate it, guys. And I will see you very soon in the next gameplay video.